Hi, I'm Paul Sanders, and I'm going to show you today how to make a simple folding book. Now, I'm not a professional at this. I just like playing with my photography, printing out and seeing what I can do. Prints are a lovely way to end the whole process of seeing an image, but a folded book brings another dimension to it altogether. It is a fairly straightforward process that involves a, f involves a few fiddly bits, and I always think it's quite nice to lose yourself in sort of creating something and making something um, and it just gives you something else to make out of your photography. I've really enjoyed making these so hopefully you'll enjoy them too. So the first thing that we need to do is to create a template for our folding book. Um, I do mine in Photoshop. So the first thing is I've opened a new document um, and it's the same size as the paper I intend to use. So this one's A2. I'm going to just expand the uh, canvas size in a second. But what I want to do first is just bring in some guides because one of the things that I ran into trouble with first of all is not knowing where the uh, where the paper edges were to trim and I always end up with little marks on my paper which was really annoying. So if you just drag the guides across to the edge of the page like that and then go f uh, to the adjustment thing, adjust the canvas size and all you're looking to do is increase the uh, the width and height by sort of six to ten millimeters depending on how you feel. You've now got the guides just inside the line so what I then do is take the rectangular marquee tool and start in that corner there like that and you just drag, drag, drag all the way across until your rectangular marquee tool is on your guides. Then if you go to uh, stroke, there we go, under edit, so stroke, one point, color, black, hit that. What that will do is it will fill the the very edge with a black line so that will give you a guide as to where the edge of your page is and it means you can put any identifying marks just outside that border like where your folds go um, you know where your cut marks are for your guillotine so that's the start point okay okay so having shown you how to bring in the guides and put the marquee on uh, you'll notice that uh, in true Blue Peter style I've gone ahead and um, here's one I prepared a little bit earlier. Basically to save you spending ages watching me do very simple maths very badly as I work out where my guides need to go, um, I just wanted to show you the setup of the guides. So my image area is going to be here uh, because I want my pictures square with a little bit of a white border around and what I've done I've divided the uh, the whole air the whole page into three rows of five images so one two three four five and then the second row and the third row and these are the edges of the, um, the picture box and the fold box uh, the fold line this is also a fold line this is a fold line this is a line where I'm going to trim the bottom of the page so that I end up with three separate pages now what we need to do is import an image. So I go to uh, Lightroom and I go File, Edit in Photoshop. That will open the image in Photoshop and because my Mac is a little bit slow I've already done that process so it's here in Photoshop. And what I've done is using the marquee tool um, just selected the picture. You can do Command or Control A which also selects the uh, the entire image. I then do Command or Control C. That copies the image to the clipboard, and then I go back to my template and Command V. So there's the image. Obviously in the wrong place, and it's the wrong size. So if I do Command or Control T, that puts the image into free transform, and you can then move it around the page as you see fit. 
Now, because of the way I want my book to start, I want a blank here so that that will be an in fold. This will be an outward fold, like page one of your book, so a right hand page. Uh, that will also have the title on, and then the left hand page of the, the next batch, which will be sort of page two, if you like, will be this one here, which will just be blank. So I'm going to resize my picture just by dragging the, uh, the image area down so it fits within the guides, and drag it into the box where it's going to fit throughout my page a little bit. Now, once I've got that in place, those of you who with eagle eyes will notice on the screen that actually the other images are already here because to save you watching me do that, I've cut the, um, I've cut the process a little bit. So just gonna drop the other images back in. So you can see blank, title page, blank, then the actual book itself. Um, now, what we're also going to do is just add a title so we can create a text layer using the text tool here and then you can write your text along that line like so we've now got our little title you have to play around with the the size of the font just depending on how you how you want it to look um, i call this wooden enemy because they are um, and it seemed like the most straightforward thing to do now I've got it to this point, we're pretty much ready to print. So into our Photoshop print dialog box, down to print, fairly easy so far. You wouldn't believe the trouble I used to have printing until the boys at Photospeed sorted me out. So select my printer, it's always selected to that, thankfully. Now you'll notice for those of you who are kind of very very good printers that I'm actually using a generic profile that's because um, I've just changed the papers that I'm using and I haven't yet set up the custom profile um, one thing I would recommend on this particular sort of thing um, is just clicking the scale to fit media because you've included a little bit bigger than the paper just to put your uh, your your cropping marks and your folding marks and you want those in so scale to fit media brings everything down to fit into the uh, into the page and then we just hit print I always think this is the most amazing bit I love seeing my prints come off and it's even more exciting when you know it's going to be a book there's just something a little bit different about it um, this is such a fun thing, but really quite simple. And it brings your images to life in a whole new way. Okay, so now we have our print fully done. And if I just come down here, you can see the, uh, the registration marks that I've put in for the folds and trimming. Um, and they go all the way around so that I can make a, a fairly, fairly reasonable job at Printing it as the, the title, you can see how the layout is going to work. So now what we're ready to do is actually crease the pages. And it's important that you sort of crease the pages before you do the cutting, because otherwise it becomes very, very complicated. So I'm going to get ready to do that now. OK, so to do the uh, folding of the pages, really, you should be using a um, ideally some kind of bone paper folder but you can actually do it really nicely with a, um, a, a sort of just a standard butter knife at home um, just use the back of it not the serrated side anyway I'm going to use my folder because I like it I got it from um, a place in Orkney vintage paper company who do really lovely ones and they're not very expensive I use a steel rule like this one and it's important that you line it up with your crease mark that you put in earlier so the little marks line it up like that and then literally run the fold scoring mark all the way down and then we repeat that for each fold There we 
go. <sighs> so next thing is to move on and then we're ready to actually cut the pages. Okay, so trimming the pages, again, follow the guides that you put down. Makes life really easy at this point. So you just follow the line, straight across the top. So that's the three millimeter border that I put on just to give me some of the trimming marks. And this middle one. And again. Okay, so we're just gonna trim these down so they all become exactly the same size. Again, following the guides. Three bits of paper trimmed all at the same time. And the same on the long sides. Remember, measure twice, cut once. Go, last mark. Trim. So there you go. You can see we've got our three panels ready, and we're going to use this edge to glue. So this image will go on top of that edge, and this image will go on top of this edge. Um, and then we'll we'll fold it all once it's once it's ready. Some people prefer to fold beforehand, some people afterwards, uh, after the gluing. Entirely up to you. Um, I think this time I'm going to try folding first, gluing second. With the folding it's important to remember the the rhythm of your fold. So up, down, up, down, up, down, or down, up, whichever way you're going. So this is going to be the beginning of the book, so I'm just going to fold it over, literally following the line that I produced earlier. And you'll tend to find that it sits into the crease that we made. So there we go short series of little wiggly snakes uh, all zigzagged and ready to uh, ready to glue for gluing the pages together it's very easy you just run the hermit glue roller along your printed work like this go along the edges as close as you can to the very edge it's a very tidy way of actually gluing a surface and then Taking your page, butt it up against the other one, right where the fold is, and just stick it down. Press it together. Now, if you want a very, very firm bond, I'd put it under some heavy books overnight. And there you have it. Very simple book. Folded pages. It's fun to make quite easy to make really and a lovely way of displaying your work you can easily frame it as a long thing or stand it up on a, a, the side just like a like a card really but there's something about them they just bring a series of pictures to life I really yeah uh, I really love making them and uh, they're just a very nice way of connecting with the images that you took I hope you've enjoyed it <laughs>